The modulator effect within Glitch can be a very powerful tool for music and sound production. The core of this effect is a ring modulator. If you do not know what ring modulation is, please watch the video entitled What is Ring Modulation by Audio College before continuing this video. The signal Glitch is affecting is the carrier signal and a sine wave of a frequency determined by the frequency knob on the effects panel acts as the modulator signal. The sine mix knob controls how much of the carrier signal is present in the effects output. The spread knob controls the phase difference between the left and right channels, sometimes creating or increasing what is often referred to as the width of the sound. The remaining two knobs control the amount and attack speed of frequency modulation that Glitch's modulator applies to the carrier signal. Any FM speed below 98 adds very strange blips to the signal. Turning the FM amount to 0% will essentially turn off any FM or frequency modulation. Increasing the FM amount will increase the range of frequencies the carrier signal can be modulated to. Now let me demonstrate some different modulator settings. I will first disable transport so I can preview Glitch's effects without playing my pattern or song. For each of the modulator settings I'm about to demonstrate, I will simply use my voice as the carrier signal. This is my voice modulated at 200 Hz or G3. G4. G5. G6. Turning up the spread creates a nice stereo effect. Specific for voices, I never turn up the sign mix. Has no purpose here. To make your voice sound more like a computer, keep the FM speed below 98% and play with the FM amount knob. How does my voice sound now? How does my voice sound now? How does it sound now? Now for a little Easter egg, I'm going to change the settings so they sound something like. <laughs> For a more in-depth look into the settings and presets demonstrated by Audio College, check out Audio College's Glitch Preset Series.